Julie Swinehart is supremely skilled at navigating the rapids of real estate. That's important because real estate development is the next frontier in the business of sports. Teams are building outward from their ballparks with budgets in the billions. Fenway Sports Group has a blockbuster project in the works. We are envisioning two million square feet. We have, we have five acres to play with here. And when all is said and done, we expect two million square feet across residential, commercial, retail. Given the track record of Messrs. Henry, Werner, and Gordon, the Fenway Corners plan comes with high hopes of success. That doesn't mean it will be an easy lift, especially right now. What have you learned with the dynamic move of the interest rates that we've seen from Chairman Powell? I mean, do you go fixed structure or floating structure, much more like what they do in Europe? Yes and yes. We, uh, we have a mix currently. Uh, it's a little bit of a different model than, mm -hmm. than what I was used to in the public, co public company space. Say in, in some ways it, we provide ourselves with a natural hedge, leaving some uh, of our debt floating and some fixed. Julie Swinehart took me on a walking tour into the future. This is going to become the true entrance to Fenway Park. And that's part of the attractiveness of this project is the age old recipe of increasing dwell times, bringing fans to the park, right. bringing in businesses, maintaining what's here and preserving right. some of the historic nature of what you see around you, but making it even more accessible, making it more fan friendly. In addition, the buildings that currently house the team store uh, will be transformed into something a little less heavy. Should uh, I get down open. on my knees? This is the best merch store in all of sports isn't it? It's a fantastic store and it's been a great partnership to have the D'Angelo family in their store right here and they're part of the, the project part moving of the forward. Absolutely. Right. FSG says the neighborhood won't become a sports theme park. They won't sweep all the grit away. They've made a promising start with the MGM Music Hall. That venue opened next to Fenway Park in 2022. It fits perfectly into the row of iconic music clubs on Lansdowne Street. It was a project that was many years in the making. Really the first project uh, utilizing the real estate that surrounds Fenway Park. What was the best practice you got out of it? I mean, it's, a, it's an experiment that I would assume there are 40 other ideas out there. What's the key idea from the MGM Hall? We're looking to do something similar in Pittsburgh. And we've got some parcels adjacent to the hockey rink there. And MGM, again, is partnering with us to put something in place that will serve, again, that smaller, more intimate venue uh, adjacent to a great sports venue.